Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be solving a homemade exponential equation. We have x to the power x to the power x to the power 3 equals 2 to the power 2 to the power 16,386. And we're going to be solving for x values. Now this is a very large number and as you can see there are two twos on the right hand side not just one and kind of had to fix it later on. But let's just go ahead and focus on the exponent here. 2 to the power 16,386. Do you think that's a large number? Think about it. How many digits do you think this number might have? Make a guess and we'll check it out. So this number is actually a very, very large number. Extremely large number with 4,933 digits. Very large number. Okay. So... It doesn't even fit on the screen. You really need lots of space to be able to write it. But we're going to solve for x. So let's go ahead and rewrite the problem and then get to solve. But before that, I want to show you something else. What would happen if I had a simpler case like x to the power x to the power 3? And let's say this is equal to the cube root of 4, right? Then you could easily cube both sides. And then this would give you x to the power 3x cubed equals 4. And then now you could put the 3 inside and write this as x cubed to the power x cubed equals 4, which is 2 to the second. And from here, automatically, you get x cubed equals 2, which means x is equal to cube root of 2. Quick, right? You just cube both sides and then you're done. What if you don't get a nice number at the end? Then you can use Lambert's w function. But this problem is very much different. Our number is much, much more complicated. So let's go ahead and rewrite the problem and see how we can solve this equation. So what do we have? We have x to the power, x to the power, x to the power 3 equals 2 to the power, 2 to the power 16,386. Now you might be thinking, what is so special about 2 to the power 16,000 something? Or what is so special about just the 16,386? Well, that's a very special number to be more exact. It's actually close to a power of 2. Let's go ahead and take a look at the powers of 2. Maybe you didn't know that, but I kind of memorized some of the powers of 2 because, I don't know, this, it's just fun. So let's take a look. Hopefully you do know that 2 to the 10th power is 1024 because something that I often talk about. And then 2 to the 11th is going to be 2048. 2 to the 12th is going to be 4096. And then you're going to get... 8,192, and if you keep doubling, you're going to get 16,384. Bingo. That's the number we're looking for. That's how this problem came about. Okay, how do you think I know this, right? I mean, I kind of knew the 16,000 something, but, you know, anyways. So, what am I supposed to do? Break down the 16,386 so that we can take out and extract 2 to the 14th power. So, let's rewrite our problem, but this time... I want to write the 16,386 as 16,384 plus 2. Make sense? Because 16,384 is 2 to the 14th power, and then replace it with 2 to the 14th power. Okay? Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. So we get the following. Well, how is this going to help us, right? Okay, you'll see in a little bit how this is helpful. So we're going to break this down even more. Okay, so here's what we would like to do. First of all, notice that we have 16, 2 to the power 14, plus 2 to the first power. And then now we can do the following. And by the way, this is, okay, I forgot the one of the twos again. So let me go ahead and move this up. So I can insert the 2 there. There's going to be another 2. Okay, i got to do the same thing here. And of course, the equal sign must move too, right? So kind of like, nope, that doesn't need to move. Let's erase this. Okay, cool. Now we're going to do the following. This is going to be 2 to the power that. And that's, of course, going to be 2 to the power that. And these numbers are equal. Okay, a lot of 2s. It's easy to get confused. Now, what am I going to do with this right you might be wondering so here's what I'm gonna do I would like to first separate these two things now remember when exponents are added you can turn it into a subtraction problem I mean 
Did I say subtraction? I mean multiplication. Okay, so we can go ahead and write this as follows. 2 to the power, 2 to the power, 2 to the power, 2, okay, there are too many 2's, 2 to the power, <laughs> 2 to the power, so I want to write it like this, 2 to the power 14 times 2 to the power 2. There you go. So this addition of exponents implies multiplication of powers. Make sense? Okay. Now here's what we're going to do with this. We're going to put this inside. 2 to the second power is 4, so that's nice. It's another power of 2. So we're going to write it like this. 2 to the power, 2 to the second, to the power, 2 to the power, 2 to the power 14. Make sense? Because the exponents are multiplied, we can put them inside. In other words, when you have something like a to the power x to the power y, you can write it as a to the power xy and vice versa. So far so good? Okay. Now, 2 to the second power is 4, so let's go ahead and replace it with 4. So this gives us 2 to the fourth power, to the power, 2 to the power, 2 to the power 14. Okay. We're going to break down the 2 to the power 14 again the same way. How? 2 to the power 14 basically can be written as 2 to the power 12 times 2 to the second. Right? Okay. How is that going to help? We'll see. 2 to the fourth, let's keep it at the bottom. I mean at the base. And then now th write this as 2 to the power 2 to the power 12 times 2 to the power 2. Like this. Right? So kind of like this. I want to get this, break it down. So this part is going to be 2 to the power, 2 to the 12 times 2 to the second. Make sense? Okay, great. Now we got to take a couple other steps until we can put it in a nicer, nicer form. Okay, remember the original expression was x to the power, x to the power, x cubed. So I want the topmost power to be x cubed and everything else to be x. So here's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to go ahead and move this 4 inside again, like this. So keep the 2 to the 4th at the very bottom. And now write this as 2 to the 4th to the power 2 to the power 12. Make sense? This stays and this goes inside. Now when you multiply 4 times 2 to the 12, you get exactly this part. Okay? So far so good? Now, this will make hopefully much more sense. Now I can set x to the power x to the power x cubed equal to 2 to the 4th power. And by the way, 2 to the 12th power you can write as 2 to the 4th power cubed. And guess what? It just adds up. Okay, or multiplies up, whatever. Now we can go ahead and do the following. x must be 2 to the 4th power. Because this is x, this is x, this is x, this is x, this is x cubed, and this is x cubed. So x must be 2 to the 4th power, which is 16. And that's the only solution because this function is going to increase on this interval where x is very kind of large, greater than 1 at least. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.